Richard Cottingham was called the Times Square killer on Netflix, but police say his brutality reached out to Long Island. The victim's name in this 1968 case was Diane Cusick, and she had stopped at the mall to get some shoes. This was after she finished teaching a dance class for children. Darlene Altman was just four years old when her mother, Diane Cusick, was found strangled in the back seat of her car at the Greenacres Mall in February 1968. Now a notorious serial killer who's cagey about his crimes has been charged in the cold case. Richard Cottingham appearing virtually from a New Jersey hospital. He just had like this dead stare. I felt like he was looking right at me. It was creepy. In the early 1980s, this defendant was convicted of multiple murders in New Jersey. And Cottingham has been linked to dozens of other cold cases that are still unsolved. DNA recently fed into a national database matched genetic material found in Diane Cusick's White Plymouth Valiant on February 15, 1968. I never thought I'd see this day. I had given up. Richard Cottingham used the guise of being store security, possibly policemen, and he would confront people coming out of the mall. He would accuse them of stealing something. Cusick's father actually found his daughter's car at the mall when she didn't come home. The young woman duct taped over her mouth and neck. Diane's father took the band off his daughter's mouth and summoned the police. The daughter of another Cottingham victim, Day Godarzi, who was dismembered and burned in the Times Square Hotel in 1979, played a crucial role in getting Cusick's case solved. Jennifer Weiss has been meeting with Cottingham in prison for five years. His demeanor is laid back and it's not threatening and he looks like a jolly old Santa. Weiss and criminal historian Peter Vronsky pointed Long Island investigators in Cottingham's direction last year after the serial killer talked about locations between Queens and Nassau counties. He eventually took me uh, past the Green Acres Mall, and he was very interested in the Sunrise Drive-In that used to be there. The commander of Nassau County's Homicide Squad told us that his detectives have submitted upwards of five other DNA samples in other murder cases to see if they can get a hit to Cottingham. It's believed Cottingham killed up to 100 women between the early 1960s and 1980 when he was taken off the streets. Last year, he confessed to the cold case torture and murders of two New Jersey teens who were on their way to the Garden State Mall when Cottingham abducted them. Diane Cusick's daughter is grateful she finally got some answers. I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who worked on this case. Um, all these people got justice for me and for my mother. And, you know, Richard Cottingham's DNA wasn't put into the national database until 2016 when he confessed to several other murders in New Jersey. At this point, his DNA had to be taken by law. When Nassau County got the tip, investigators made their move and got a match. Tamsin and Corey.